Hi, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're going to be doing a pick a card reading, focusing on goddess energy. What your inner goddess wants you to know, what she wants you to hear, and what you can do in order to maximize her energy. Now, for those of you guys who are old friends to the channel, you know some of these readings can get really, really heavy and really, really intense and pretty emotional. What I'd like to do is keep that energy a little light today. We've been doing a lot of transformation lately. A lot of the messages that I've been receiving have all been about our have been about our personal growth and have really kind of pushed our patience. So when we're doing this reading today, I really, really want to ask that this be more light, more uplifting. So hopefully they're responding to that. Woo! I'm going to take a moment to put the photo up so that you can pick your cards and then that allows me a chance to pick my cards because I haven't seen these cards yet and I know that there's a message in here for me as well. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll come back. And then you can find your personal reading by looking down in the timestamps and I think I'm going to put it in a comment and pin it up in the comments down below. Let's get started. Okay, let's start with group number one. We have name your higher self, decide, make a, whoa, make a commitment by the Archangel Michael Oracle, be gentle with yourself. This could be the one for the romance angels, getting to know each other. Freya, bold energy. Ishtar, boundaries. The wind fairy, thoughts, words, intellectual analysis. The mystery. The high priestess and the devil. And then for what's coming in, we have the sun, the ship, and the polar bear. So give me a second just to rearrange these. But I'm already feeling that my group number ones, it's so interesting because I'm definitely getting this assertive energy or goddess vibe energy around you right now. And there's nothing wrong with that. To me, the way that this goddess energy is coming across is very much connected to light and sunlight. That's the first thing that it is that I feel. And as much as we love when the sun comes out, and as soon as the sun comes out, it seems like everyone's like, oh, it's a beautiful day, it feels like Friday, or if they can't go outside, they wish they could go outside. They wanna be in the sun, they wanna feel it. But if you're staying in the sun for too long, that same sun that you were loving and appreciating is gonna dry your skin out, it's gonna make you feel hot and sweaty and just kind of beat you down over time. So there is a nice little balance that needs to happen here. So the message that I'm getting from your inner goddess is one about allowing yourself to actually enjoy abundance, allowing yourself to enjoy pleasure and to not think of it as so negative, to not think of it as, oh, I shouldn't be doing this. No, you should. The universe is filled with things that it wants to give you and wants to serve you and your inner goddess is saying, you know what? I'm going to allow myself to indulge in this. I'm going to book that trip. I'm going to step out into the unknown. I'm going to take that risk. I don't know, it, it's almost like having an expectation for great, for something amazing to happen, but not having such a rigid expectation that you don't allow the universe to kind of surprise you. And that's what your inner goddess is saying is that, okay, look, we wanna hear your voice. We wanna see you shine. We don't wanna dim, we don't want you to dim your light. We want you to put yourself out there. It's interesting because with the card that says be gentle with yourself, I don't see it as you, you know, treading lightly and being soft. I see it as how your brain has been kind of analyzing information and how it's been processing information. And that is the one thing that actually has been holding you back. It's, oh, I shouldn't be doing this or, oh, I shouldn't allow myself to do this. When the universe is saying be gentle with yourself, it's saying, or when this card shows up, what I'm getting from this is giving yourself permission again to realize that you do deserve to be nurtured. You do deserve to receive the reward. Now, what it is that I see coming for you is actually a lot of sunlight, a lot of light energy, a lot of love energy, a lot of joy, a lot of playfulness. At the same time, I see you kind of in your work, in your, with your friendships, with um, anything that it is that you're touching, like you have your, your energy in, the mix with, I see you being bold, assertive, and saying, this is what I want, this is what I'm about, this is what I'm trying to create, let's go here, let's do this. You know when you're dating someone for the first time, okay, I'm gonna let them make the first moves for the date, I'm gonna let them plan what's going to happen. This is you being like, this is where I wanna go. I wanna take a pottery class, I want to go to Costa Rica. That's the other thing too, I'm seeing a, like the, the space of travel, these cards in particular, I 
set the intention that when these cards come, would uh, appear from the Lenormand deck, that they would show what is coming into your life. And I'm seeing travel, and I'm seeing you stepping into your power, and you stepping into a space where you're like, this is what I want. And that's what I mean by boundaries. It, of course, there needs to be healthy boundaries, but I feel like you guys know that and you've been working on that. I'm really getting that vibe. But more than that, I see this as you really being assertive. As much as it is you saying no, it's also you saying yes. And I'm, I'm seeing you kind of indulging and saying yes to, to, to certain things. Now, when it comes to relationships and stuff, you know, we're in this world right now. Our society is kind of in this space where it's encouraging people to kind of be, I don't want to say promiscuous, but to, you know, connect in a way that doesn't have, you know, rules or regulations or restrictions to them. I actually don't want that for you. If you are, if you do have like a friends with benefits situation, you really have to ask yourself or if there's some type of connection, any type of connection where there's like no rules in place, there actually do need to be rules in place. This is where you having rules and you saying, this is what I want in order for me to enjoy this, I have to have this. In order for you to do that, you will be able to enjoy it way more than if there is no rules and then you're just like, because then it's like this cloud passes. Like one minute you have sunshine and then one minute you have a cloud that passes over it. So one minute you have this joy and this pleasure and the next minute it's gone. So I'm actually seeing you deciding and choosing, look, this is what I want and this is what I say yes to. And uh, there's a lot of energy around us. Again, lately with this whole like hookups type of energy um, thing, my friends have been talking about it a lot. And it's like, and again, there's so many cards here of, about making a commitment. We have boundaries, we have the devil card, which is about making commitments and making a bond. You have the question of decide, you have make a commitment here, literally saying that to you. You have this card that says this could be the one and getting to know each other. When you really kind of put yourself on this higher pedestal, and it's not that you think that you're better than anyone else or that you know, whatever, but I just see you needing more. I need, I see you needing more than something that just kind of passes in your life and goes outside of your life. Now, if you are in a committed relationship right now, I see you guys needing to reconnect and rebuild that bond and re, you know, come back to each other. So sometimes in relationships, things can get a little passive and you're just like, oh, you know, this was working for me before, so I can't tell them to change it now because this is what was making me happy well you know what you're always evolving you're always changing and your goddess energy is saying look i want you to know that this is what's going to make me so happy this is what's going to bring light into my life i want more joy i want more pleasure so your goddess energy right now is saying that this energy this sun this sun energy this space of like travel and movement forward will come and is going to come for you in the next 30 days, the next 28 to 30 days, if you set that um, precedent, if you raise it up a little bit and are assertive or at least speak up, and it doesn't have to be forward or aggressive, but when you are bold about it, when you say it, when you, when you speak it, that's how you're going to use your words for the month, you know, the next um, 28 days. That's how you're going to use your words. You're going to use them not to overthink, not to try to simplify things or make sense of things, but be like, okay, I'm going to sit out in the sun or I'm going to find the things that feel like light and give me joy and pleasure. And I'm putting my hands out because it's like when you're sunbathing, you know, there, it just feels good. So if it feels good, this is what your inner guides are telling you. It's like, go ahead and lay out in the sun and tell, tell them to take the umbrella down. You know, for the months of your life, when you sat under the umbrella on the beach, it worked. But now all of a sudden you want more vitamin D. You know what I mean? Now all of a sudden you want more sunshine. And that's just because you have changed. You have evolved. And your guides, your your goddess energy is like, wow, like she really, he or she has really stepped into her personal power right now. And there, and for that, there is a reward. There is a reward that we want to give to her. And that is there for her. But in order for her to receive that in order for you to receive that you're going to want to speak it out you're going to want to state it for those of you guys that are single i think you know with dating and stuff if you do want to date if you do want an exclusive relationship because i am seeing again this commitment this bond and the, the devil itself it rules these bonds that we make and these commitments um but it also rules pleasure and it's also ruled by Capricorn. So it's almost like when you make this bond, when you can make this, make this commitment, it almost feels indulgent. Like I can have all of you, 
all of you are is mine now like I can enjoy this and because I know that all of you is for me I can do all the things that I've been wanting to do and that's gonna give me all this joy so um, I do see this energy of getting to know each other this could be the one that type of you know that type of vibe again it's so easy sometimes to be like oh you know there's no rules on this these cards are saying we want rules not in a way that restricts because again the devil it doesn't restrict all, all the time sometimes there are areas where this card will show up and it says okay this is bad but the devil is not always bad sometimes it really is good and what I'm seeing is a lot of good here a lot of good energy the last thing that I want to talk about is this card of the mystery which means that you don't know what the future has to hold for you at least for the next 20 28 to 30 days there is some elements and some twists and turns that are going to come into your life but I actually see them as really positive things. It almost is like, I don't like roller coasters, but the visual that I get is like a person on the roller coaster that gets like pushed from here to here. And it's just kind of like, when you make that turn, you're like, woo! So that's kind of what it is that I'm seeing. So again, I don't know if you are booking a trip. I'm, I, for some reason, I'm seeing like a trip, a vacation to Cancun or somewhere, you know, down south or somewhere in the, the tropics or whatever. But it's just joy there's a lot of pleasure something that's going to it's like summer and spring energy is definitely what it is that i'm getting which at the time of me filming this that's where we're at but it's just you know letting life surprise you letting life you know not knowing what's going to happen next but doing things for the sake of pleasure and it and, and that's exactly how it should be so that's how your goddess energy is um is you know speaking to you now and the advice that i can say to you for the next 30 28 days is to speak up you know to to say you know what is it that is my pleasure what is it that's going to make me have joy and make me enjoy this even more and if you know what you want go ahead and clearly say it because i think that when you say it when you state it that commitment that bond that okay i these are the rules those rules are going to set in place in order to make it so that it's you're able to give more so that you're able to receive more and know that all of this all of this is for me like thank you okay so that's what i'm seeing don't be afraid again we have these cards this energy of being bold and assertive i'll read this to you she says unleash your adventurous side take risks and be daring and then the next card is ishtar from boundaries love yourself enough to say no to others demands on your time and energy but at the same time i'm also hearing a resounding yes i say yes to this okay so that's what i'm seeing and i'm feeling for my number ones and i find that really beautiful i was actually so inspired by the devil card showing up just now really really inspired by that all right let's move on to number two okay guys we're gonna move on to number two so the cards that i get for you are instant feedback Get grounded. We've been seeing this card a lot lately, which makes a lot of sense. Honor and trust your feelings. The person you're asking about is trustworthy. I'm going to put these two together. Make the effort. Finances and career. Pele, divine passion. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's truest desires? Infinite supply. So I'm definitely getting lots of vibes about um, money and security and commitment the grail knight romance illusion seeking the sacred the wasp anger retaliation and jealousy ace of wands oh my gosh eight of pentacles the tower within the lenderman deck which is different than the, t the tarot by the way the home card and the snake so <laughs> It's so funny because this card says the person you're asking about is trustworthy and then we have the snake card. So the snake sometimes can show wisdom and internal knowledge, but I don't see it as that. In fact, when I'm seeing this instant feedback card here, I'm seeing that, you know, you really want to be careful because and this is what your god your goddess energy really wants you to to hear right now. And this isn't, you know, pointing fingers at anyone or you know saying saying that anybody has negative intention towards you because sometimes people even people who have positive intention it's not something that is has a positive effect on you so let's say you have a family member who is you know you have this idea that you tell them about this thing that you're passionate about and they're like don't do that 
go, you know, be a doctor or go be an accountant or go be a nurse or whatever because that's the tried tried and true way. And they're saying that because they want you to have security and wealth and abundance for yourself, which of course, of course, like the universe wants that for you too, but some of you guys have ideas. Some of you guys have dreams and visions that are set in place that are really going to test, you know, current status quo. And you have to kind of cancel out what everyone else is saying so that you can start this project so that you can build this project so that you can start to you know create this business or this idea or this job or and i'm seeing a lot of your purpose this is about your purpose and some some of these voices that i'm hearing that are coming through their their voice comes from anger their voice comes from fear and when they see you kind of um, pursuing something that they don't understand or that, that to them it seems like that's not real step out of it that's not you know realistic that's not practical you can't pay your bills off of that no you can't pay your bills off of that I can pay my bills off of that because I'm being called to this this is my divine passion like literally think about that divine given to me by God and my passion it's something that is ignited into me when you have passionate feelings that's that's even that's it's just as powerful as love passion shows you that even if you try to throw water on it that thing would sizzle up and burn even brighter because it comes from the divine there is your inner goddess is about earth energy right now like i don't care if you're a fire or an earth sign or an air sign or water your goddess energy right now is practical and earthy and grounded and when i say practical she comes from the spirit um, realm so what what seems our idea of what is practical here on earth is different than what the spirit world says or in what the how the spirit world sees practicality because the, um in the spirit world anything can happen because you're working with energy and energy can be created and destroyed like energy is you know constantly like transforming and anything can happen with that like anything can manifest so when we're when the spirit world says this is practical this is because it only makes sense for you to step out and to do this passion and to follow this passion project even though the rest of the world is telling you like that's not realistic that's not logical no it's not realistic and logical for your brain and for your reality and of course you wouldn't understand what it is that i'm feeling because you're not called to do the same thing so that's what I'm seeing here is this grail knight with the romance, the illusion, seeker, the sa seeking the sacred. It's more than, you know, true love. It's in the form of another person. It's true love in the form of your passion. So your goddess, your goddess energy right now is, is one of infinite supply. Like that's why I'm saying she's earth energy. And that's why I'm feeling earth energy from her is because, and your inner goddess, because she is, it almost connects me to the pentacles, like the, the suit within the tarot of the pentacles which is you know abundance abundance giving and when you put that work in when you put that effort into your work into your finances into your career you will actually see the reward from it that you have these two cards here these three cards are i designated them from before i started shuffling these cards i'm like the lenormand is going to show me what's coming for you coming to you in the next 28 to 30 days and this card number 19 is about establishing um, establishment and business and structure and stability and this card also brings stability and the home environment so this is what is coming for you in the next 28 30 days is you creating this business that is really um providing for you and and has structure and stability but also is you know rigid in the sense that nothing can shake this not only is my passion in this not as not only is my passion fueling this but i have set into motion and established rules and a routine and i've committed myself to fueling and building my passion so your inner goddess is telling you that and this card ace of wands is the card of passion it's the card of passion ignited and desire and this excitement. So there is something within you that when you connect with your feelings and you trust your feelings, what your inner guide has been telling you and what your inner goddess and your guides have been talking to you and speaking to you, when you honor that and you um, respond to that and say, okay, I hear you, 
you have so much inner goddess that you want to give to me that your inner goddess is you know always pulling you and always speaking to you and she's been pulling you towards your path she's been pulling you towards your destiny when it comes to your career so the next few days I'm really seeing you um, match and merge your passion with structure with a plan with um, doing better you know making changes implementing new rules that will help to build this firm stability that will help to per, you know uh, take this dream to the next level. These snakes here, this the person that you're asking about is trustworthy to some extent. Their intentions are good, but you really have to listen to yourself right now more than anything. And you'll know because when this card of instant feedback, this card shows up when you need to connect with yourself because your physical body, again, earth energy and actual tangible, and this is what your inner goddess is all about right now, that earth energy vibe. When your spirit is in alignment, you naturally feel strong, you naturally feel assertive, you literally can do what others can't do, no matter if you're tired, no matter if you're excited or whatever. You can literally break through barriers just because your passion is so strong and so powerful. But when you're doing something you don't love and you're not passionate about it and you don't, you're, you might be committed to it, but it doesn't make you happy, it doesn't serve you, your body will literally feel weak and it will vibrate on a lower vibration and it's just dense. There's nothing that can come from it because that energy is so dense. So that's what this instant feedback is, is that listen to your body. If you feel strong, if you feel ignited, if you feel powerful, when you think about this idea, when you think about this spark that makes you passionate, that makes you light up, that gives you so much life. When you think about that and when you feel that, does your body feel strong? Or when you think about going the plan B, the other route within your career or doing something other than what you wanna do, does that make you feel weak? The other thing is that for a lot of you guys, you are really successful, but it almost seems like you're feeling like in order to keep that success going, you have to like compromise or you have to do certain things. And some of you guys might actually be stretched really thin. So what I'm seeing is that you are connecting back to yourself right now through that space of getting grounded where you go for a walk you connect with your spirit you connect with source and that inner goddess within you that is so connected to manifestation and earth energy and abundance and building and security and stability and sub infinite supply infinite abundance coming in when you connect with that you have to ask yourself okay what is makes what makes me feel good because if i continue to do things that i hate and that i don't like or that feel like work i'm gonna get so angry I'm gonna feel weak and I'm gonna lash out and it's gonna be no good for anybody. So that being said, when you make that decision, when you make that choice, you will not only feel good and feel your passion come back come back and feel ignited, but you're going to see a lot of the reward, a lot of the abundance. Not only today, but tomorrow and the days to come and the days to come. This is infinite. You have so much energy right here about you know paying attention and focusing on your security on material wealth and abundance so that's what your got your goddess energy is talking to you about and if i had to give you guys any advice i would say disconnect from outside voices disconnect from expectations from yourself even your internal voice your external voices disconnect from all of that go for a walk Connect with energy, connect with the earth. It began, again, because this goddess that's coming through to me, this goddess energy that you're giving off is very much connected to earth and flowers and grass and really planting, you know, taking time to stop and smell the roses and having flowers around you and abundance around you in that way and connecting with that and then grounding yourself through that and do that for the next like three days. And then, then when you have firmly grounded yourself and you finally feel rooted, that's when you've connected with earth energy and now you can manifest, now you can build, now you can create. When you are passionate and when you are ignited and your work and your energy is focused on your passions, that's when you will see infinite supply come in, an infinite reward. It's not going to be a trickle. It's going to be a nice spilling over. But that's why you need to have those structures, the foundation in place in order to handle all that is going to come into your life. Because goddess energy is, your goddess energy is really trying to, to serve you right now. There is a vision given to you by the divine. That passion that is given to you, others may not logically understand it. That's because they are not in that God space energy. They're only thinking about what they know to be true. But this is given to you by God. So I do see you working and building. And I see a lot coming in for you. 
especially when it comes to abundance. So you need to make sure that you're ready to receive that and that you have those rules and structure in place because I learned that when I started Bahati Life. I had no idea. I was called to it because this was my passion, this was my magic, but I had no idea you know, what it was that I was opening myself up for. And I received kind of like the punishment from it, from people being disappointed. You know, why is it taking so long? Like, I get it, I know. But I, I didn't know, I just was responding to spirit and says, do this, Jess. So I did, and a lot of lessons came through that. But just learn from me <laughs> that, you know, abundance is coming in when you follow your passion and when you share your gifts. That's how the universe has it. But make sure that you have a structure in place that will be able to support the level of abundance that's going to come into your life. Because the goddess energy around you is very earth. So she is going to want to give. She's going to want to provide. So let's move on to card group number three. And for you, we have, oh my gosh, accept the gifts of the universe. Wow. Remember to breathe self-respect they are coming for you <laughs> your inner goddess is coming for you a favorable outcome yes forgiving and learning express your love the sorceress you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality so many of you guys are really manifesting right now sensitivity you're becoming increasingly sensitive avoid harsh relationships environments situations and chemicals Wealth. Can we talk? There are so many of you guys that are, some of these cards are really connected around business and worth, wealth, your worth, your value, and manifesting. There are some real, some real levels of manifestation that are happening lately. And it's happening for my number threes too. Wow. Because of the lessons that we've learned. This is crazy. Okay. Um, letting go. Oh, wow. I love you guys. Ah! King of Pentacles. <laughs> I'm just so here for the re oh wow queen of pentacles and then what's coming for you wow okay the the corpse um card the mouse and the ring oh my gosh I am so excited by this deck and the crazy thing is is that I feel like my number threes have been through a lot when it comes to disappointment frustration yeah it's like annoyances and that's the, the I do want to talk to you about that so I don't know, everyone is different, but these two cards of letting go and forgiving and learning and this mouse and this corpse card, this is annoying shit that is set into your into your life. It's almost like how people say like, oh my God, that's the devil or oh my God, that's negative energy. Like it actually is negative energy. It's these tiny little annoying things that are small, but they build up, they build up and they can block, you know, bigger blessings from your life. And I'm seeing this as people and places or relationships, all relationships. So this could be a coworker, this could be a boss, this could be your clients that you've been working with. They might, there's a lot that's been going on around us astrologically lately with tra changes and people c can sometimes be triggered by that. So when they're triggered, they can put pressure on you know, people around them, yourself included. So they'll put, you know, they'll like, They'll put um, expectations on you or be like, I need you to do this, I need you to do this. Or they'll do things that are really, really bad and really kind of fucked up. You know what I mean? Honestly. And it's just, it is what it is. I'm not excusing it. I'm not making, I'm not saying that it is okay. But I'm saying that it did happen. And your goddess energy here is is saying like it almost before i even get started i'm talking about the abundance that's to come for you and that's around you it's almost like she really wants to say to you like my baby my baby love you this is goddess energy she's so soft she's so sweet she's very you know soft spoken and wants to nurture you and wants to give to you and she's saying look be soft with my baby love because she's been going through a lot here she has been going through a lot when it comes to other people and how they have been treating you it almost seems as though you have to constantly kind of put these boundaries or say don't talk to me like that or how could you do this to me like don't you see i'm a good person don't you see i'm have good intent you have all these negative people around you and you treat them better than you treat me and my heart is of gold But it's because they felt safe to they felt like oh, I'm, I'm comfortable to do this with you. No, that's not okay So I'm seeing you guys being in a space of not being heightened heightened sensitivity because of the bullcrap that has happened And because the people that are around you and I honestly I don't see that going away for the next 28 28 to 30 days and that's why I'm seeing you kind of need to step away from that 
and to also realize there's this space right now this energy that I'm getting this message of I don't want to say that anybody's better than anyone but I actually think that you are <laughs> because it's almost like they can't manifest but you can so if there's one person who can change the outcome of this to match what you want, it's going to be you. That being said, we're going to forgive the past, we're going to let it go, and we're going to cancel out that negative energy. We're going to move forward into the future because I don't even want to talk about this last, this stuff. And the reality is, is that I do see it kind of trickling into the next 28 to 30 days for you, but I don't even want to focus in on that because if you know how to work your magic, if you know how to set intention, if you know how to manifest in the laws of attraction, you're good, you're golden. That's what your inner goddess wants you to focus on and wants you to build on. So there's some things that, this could be a relationship, this could be a partnership, where you really loved and cared for someone, but for whatever reason, they weren't ready or they just did you do did you wrong or did you dirty. And I'm seeing this as a, a relationship. So it's a relationship with another person. This could be a romantic relationship. It could be a coworker or whatever. And I'm seeing you stepping back. I'm seeing you doing a little less. And by doing a little less, that means physically, physically not exerting yourself, mentally not spinning yourself, you know, spinning your wheels. I'm seeing energy doing the work for you. I'm seeing goddess energy that is very powerful. This is almost like the magician and the high priestess combined. So it's you working your magic and you setting your intention and putting that out there. And then for the next 28 days, so you're gonna do really powerful magic at the start, whether you finish watching this video or the next new moon or the next full moon. I personally love the full moon, but I'll listen to my vibes. So let's say the next moon for you is the new moon, then I see you stepping into the new moon. So whatever is the next cycle, follow the moon cycles. And when you have either the next new moon or the next full moon, you are gonna write down all of your intentions, all of what it is that you want to see manifest within your life that you have committed yourself to, that you want that to commit to you, whether it be relationships, love, business, partnerships, uh, personal growth, health, travel, etc., etc., a Louis Vuitton bag, whatever it is that you want, the sky is the limit. So you're gonna put that out there into the universe, you're gonna sit back and you're gonna do nothing. You're gonna completely detach, and that can be the hardest thing, but during that time of detachment, I see you really, just like my number twos, getting out into nature, but I'm also seeing you it's not so much earth as much as, as it is water. For some reason, I'm seeing a lot of water for you guys. Even though you do have the king and the queen of pentacles here, and they are connected to earth, I still see you going to a beach, going to the lake, going to a river, sitting by that, um, feeling that. My number ones, I think, had sunshine energy. For my number threes, for you guys, I'm seeing water. And I don't see it as full blast sunshine as my number ones we're getting so I'm almost seeing you guys sitting in the shade and it's because you are restoring your energy you're really in a space of giving to yourself the make sure that you're nourishing yourself and that you're feeding yourself and staying plentiful hydrated because again water I keep getting water with you guys so making sure that you're fully hydrated be overly hydrated you know don't hurt yourself but make sure that you really are being hydrated here and throughout that process Anything that comes in that doesn't match what's on your list of things that you created at, at the time that you set your intention, the new or the full moon, whichever ones that you decide to work on, it's a no. <laughs> it's a no, and that's okay. Unless it really excites you, but I'm really seeing a lot of quiet energy for you. It's almost like letting the water settle and letting things kind of still and clear out first because this is your time of, um, of thriving. And that's where you need to be in a space of. I'm seeing you not only as the magician and the high priestess, but I'm also seeing you as the Nine of Pentacles. Those cards aren't here, but I'm seeing it. That's my third eye. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm um, feeling here. So the other thing is that let others come to you. Let them bring to you gifts. If they do not have a gift that you love, the answer is no. And that's okay. So I am seeing, I don't see you needing to settle for less. Um, or being like, okay, you know, this isn't exactly what it is that I wanted. No, you know, you need to give to me more. And that's the message of the king and the queen. The thing is, is that the king and the queen of pentacles, they actually have a lot to give. And as much as they have to give and as much as they already have, they will not receive less than what it is that they deserve. If you owe me $100, don't bring me 10 Bring me the 100 Because I know you have it. So that's this energy that I'm seeing here with this um, mouse card. It's that 
it's what people around you are choosing to give to you and when they give it give it to you it's you choosing to accept it or not so there's a lot in place there which means that they are either choosing to give you a hundred percent of their energy or a hundred percent of their focus or their attention or their love or their commitment or they're giving you ten dollars worth of it you could have all of the abundance in your life you could be king and queen but still be like no you owe me or this is what I asked for bring that to me don't give me less because that's not what I asked for so that's what I'm seeing and you you almost like watch them you know when people like owe you money and you can see them spending like on a a, a a bag and they post it on their social media and it's just like really because I gave you $30 to pay your cell phone bill a month ago and you had $30 but instead of you giving me my money back you got a new cell phone or you whatever or you got a new bag like that was a choice that you made so don't come to me and be like oh this is all I have no I saw what you had and that's what you chose to do go get me my money <laughs> So, and that is, again, all about this card of self-respect. So it's knowing what it is that you deserve. And I think that you knowing this and you working your magic and you, you know, expecting more from, from yourself, if this is what I ask, this is what you should deliver. And if you're not giving that to me, then the answer is no. In the meantime, again, this remember to breathe card, these are the things that you should do and accept the gifts of the universe. I'm really seeing you, babe, stepping into a space of even though you're quiet, or even though the energy, your your goddess that is around you right now, your inner goddess is kind of quiet, she's very powerful. I don't know if you've noticed that, but a lot of the quieter people are the ones who end up having the most power. And there's some intelligence and there's some wisdom within that. But uh, even though things are quiet around you and you're breathing, it, you're really actually building. You're building up your energy, you're building up your focus because you're not getting distracted by all these tiny little mice things. So these three cards here were designated from the time of me shuffling as far as what is coming to you for the next 28 to 30 days. And we have the corpse card, we have the mouse, and we have the ring. So this is the card of commitment and making a bond. This is the card of quietness and also transformation that happens when things are when things are quiet and still. And this is those annoying little things that, you know, bring you less than what it is that you deserve. They bring you less than what it is that they deserve, but what they leave is like the plague. You know what I'm saying? So they don't really have a lot to contribute. So I just see you using this time, even though this card seems kind of, you know, not positive. It's actually very positive for you because it's you going into the space of nine of pentacles. Like look at the card of nine of, of, nine of pentacles because that's where you're at. This is the wealth card here that's there for you. You have the queen of pentacles, the king of pentacles. So there is a lot of abundance that is around you here but um, like favorable outcome, all these cards are very much abundance giving, but self-respect is saying like, I want more and I need you to do it. I need you to step outside of your comfort zone. And when it's time for you to speak up, when it's time for you to speak up, you will, because I know that you have it within you. But for right now, I see a lot of quiet energy and other people coming into a space where they're going to give to you in the way that it is that you deserve. Okay, and don't let any anger build up over time because of you know, the decision that you made in order to accept less than what it is that you deserve. I hope that that makes sense. All right, so group number four, we have laugh, we have learn, I hear you, admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly, no thanks, <laughs> just kidding, forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong, be right back while I go cry, trust, keep an open mind, blossoming, fertility, <laughs> I'm sorry guys, <laughs> partnership, <laughs> the stag, pride and leadership, the magician, oh, three of swords. From the Lenormand deck we have lilies, we have the family tree, and we have the key. So right away, I I'm hearing a big resounding word of yes. Who are you saying yes to? What are you saying yes to? Not you, but it's almost like if you've asked a question, sorry, I gotta get like in your space and in your face right now. It's almost like if you asked a question to someone else or you're waiting to hear a response from them or you're, you put something else, you put something out there, the answer is yes. 
like a really strong yes. Hmm, hold on. I feel like I need to look at you guys. I feel like we need to make eye contact. So, the first thing that I'm seeing is this card here, which says, forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. Oh my gosh. So I've been working a lot with Archangel Michael lately, and my loves, oh no! I didn't want to cry, but I just, I get emotional when I see these things and I when I feel what I feel when I do this type of stuff. And I just feel like you and number three, my number fours, my number fours and my number three, you guys have been through a lot. A lot. I mean, come on. We have the three of swords here. We have the admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. The forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. The trust, the fertility, the blossoming. When this card shows up, I see the potential in it. I see the potential for the future. But more than that, I see what has happened. And I can't ignore that. I can't ignore that. And some of this has been ongoing. Even if it's, let's say it's a relationship with a person or let's say it's your, your relationship with your career. It's, even though it's this new relationship, this new thing that's within the next, la or the last six months or the last year, it's almost like this repetitive repeating thing that keeps happening. But maybe it manifests in different ways or different forms. So even though you may have said goodbye to something in the past, it almost seems like when you said goodbye to that, it popped up again, it's energy manifested again in, in another form. And for whatever reason, it just keeps happening. And I think what I'm getting is that, and I don't want you guys to take this the wrong way, because literally the card says, forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. It's you, but it's not you. Do you know what I mean? And I know that we weren't going to get too heavy with this, but I feel like I kind of have to right now. And, um, but it's you, but it's not you. And it's, it's because you, you kind of were taught to do things a certain way. So, or you have an ex a certain expectation and that's not your fault because the, the world, your life experiences have taught you to keep your guard up or caught, taught you to, you know, not trust or to not believe in other people or not believe that this can happen for you or believe that there are good people out there or that you do receive or you are worthy of receiving abundance and wealth and security and to have success within your life. So you are taught that and for that reason, when you say goodbye and when you finally, you know, kind of release and let go of this old stuff within your life, it even though you're saying goodbye to it and you're like, wow, I went through all of that, it will repeat again. It's like this cycle that kind of shows up again in another form, even though it's not the same as it was before, but it is though. It's still kind of the same. And that's what it is that I'm getting. It's like when you, and this is where it's tough, my love, but also keep in mind that I picked number four too. So I am hearing this as I'm, I'm, actually, I'm, I'm going to try to hear it because again, it's, you have to look at it. You have to examine. But that's what I'm seeing, baby love, is admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly and then learn. So this is where you sit back and you and me both, like, let's just commit to this to each other. Like, you, you know, we're family. We're friends. Let's commit to the next week. Sorry, my nose is starting to itch and you guys know what that means. <laughs> but let's commit to the next week of us examining our relationships let's examine our abundance let's examine our troubles and then let's see if there's similarities hold on let's see if there are similarities let's see if there were things that are kind of like repeated repeating patterns and look at yourself look at how when there is a problem that presents itself or something that could be problematic how did you react to it instead of beating yourself up i'm actually seeing you laughing at it and being like ah, remember that time when i set his house on fire <laughs> i'm just kidding but you know that, that, that essentially that's <laughs> i didn't set anybody else's house on fire y'all might have i didn't but it's, it really is like this honest assessment of these things that have hurt you. And when I'm seeing the blossoming card, I see the blossom card again, like I'm saying is like, okay, we're in this next phase, but we just can't repeat what has happened in the past. And for those who are blossoming now, it's because they went through some major transformation. They went through some major, you know, issues. So we are going to examine that. We are going to see it. That's the other thing too, is that the magician is ruled by Mercury. This card is ruled by Mercury, and it's about 
the mind it's about words and it's about delegating it's about seeing it and when you see it for what it honestly truly is admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly that is when you can act and set things into motion in order to change the outcome so when we are entering into this next stage because your goddess energy is all about blossoming and fertility there is a lot of growth around you i don't know if you saw my recent video but i was talking about you know me entering into the space of my womanhood my mother the mother stage within my life i'm 31 at the time of me filming this i was the maid before and you could be 40 years old but still stuck in the maiden stage within your life within goddess energy you could be 80 years old and only then step into the space of being this mother um, the mother stage within goddess energy you could be a child a young child and still somehow have the energy of the crone so i'm actually seeing you guys walking with me and i'm saying with me because i'm doing this too i actually picked number four that's why i started laughing because i'm like <laughs> it just resonates i i don't it just it really truly resonates i don't know if you guys saw my recent video but i, I was talking about this mother energy and stepping into this there is a lot of blossoming that's happening and for some reason i want to connect the lilies with this too this purple energy this is highly spiritual this is highly divinely um called and this is you entering into this next stage within your life, but it didn't happen without some trauma, some level of conflict, some level of you getting beat up on, you getting, you having to really, really learn. And before we move forward, and I say we because I'm doing it too, before we move forward into the next stage, let's examine and see it all of what has happened in the past and see the patterns and it's going to be a part of our own process of maturing write it down and be like okay this is what happened this is how i reacted moving forward i'm going to do it this way moving forward if i see this problematic behavior i'm going to address it or i will i will leave it or i see these problems within this aspect of my life so now we're going to do things differently moving forward but if, if it, it, all of this happens because of all of what has happened, there is a lot of disappointment. There might have been slander. There might have been some bullshit. Why am I saying slander and things that people say? Well, that hurt you because the Mercury, I'm sorry, Mercury is ruled by this card and it's what others, their power, either they're using it against you or they're using it for you. But in this case, something has hurt you by their mind, their decisions, what they have done. And also internally how you how you take that on so there has been a lot of trauma and that's the word that I want to use it's very it's almost very traumatic what you have gone through and I don't want anybody to make you feel bad because you call it that it is trauma you can allow it to beat you up and bruise you or you can look at it laugh at the aspects that you can laugh at laugh to the point where you cry cry and then release um, and then moving forward, we're going to do things differently. This is when you say, forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. Because some aspects of these, some of the aspects that you're going to see are things where you were a victim. And they shouldn't have happened to you. But you're starting fresh. You're, you're, you're being bloomed brand new. When you think of the lily, it's very, very pure. It's very innocent. And it, it comes and it blossoms in a way that... You, whoever has the lily, you have to be worthy of having that lily around you. Woo! And that's when you're going to be very careful about your partnerships. And I don't see you even being careful because of you moving forward again. As you're moving into the ne this next stage in your life, when we say keep an open mind, it's like keep an open mind when you look at yourself. Keep an open mind when you're looking at your future and your partnerships and where it is that you're going. And the mind is everything when I'm looking at these cards because you have the magician, keep an open mind, the three of swords, which is this hurt and this ache that you're still processing, but that's also in your head, trusting. And then we have learning. Through these lessons, it's, you know, and forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. This is all about percep perception, how you perceive things. If bad things happen to you and they, and again, the trauma, you can perceive it as, oh, I deserve this or, oh, I should have done things differently or if I would have done it, this way this would have never happened you know what there are things that you can control because magician and there are things that you can't control because life circumstances um and because those are the cards that you were dealt and that's the card of this card it's like things that you literally can't control but it's your perception of it you learn from it you learn from the aspects that you can take from it and then you vow to do differently not in a way that you punish yourself 
but you laugh at the aspects that you can. I, I feel like a broken record, but you laugh at the aspects that you can, and then you move forward in this space. Now I really want to focus on these, these guys here. We have blossoming, we have fertility, we have the lily, and we have the key. Now, I'm the person who is most skeptical. I'm really skeptical sometimes when I see cards um, that are pulled for me because that's just how I am. I'm a Virgo and I second guess everything. And if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be as firm in my faith as I am now. But when I see this, for the first time in my life, I believe. And I don't know what that means for you, but I have to say that. For the first time in my life, I believe for the first time in my life, I believe. I believe that I deserve. I believe that I will receive. I believe that I've lived, I've learned, and that things are gonna be different, and I trust. It's crazy, it's crazy, man. Life is hard. I always say that, I said, I don't, I don't, even, want, I don't even wanna let these things down. I'm gravitating towards these so much. Fertility is the card of, you know, there is a seed that can be planted and that will blossom, literally, that will grow. This card says you are just getting started, so have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. Sarah card of fertility says it is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. And then we have the lily card, which is very sensual. This is very feminine. This is very goddess energy. And the purples are just so beautiful. And then with the magician, I see that you actually do have the key. You do have the power within your hand. And I see, you know, romance. I see love. I see a, a person who is in their personal power, a partnership with a person who is strong, who is has what it takes. They're not all talk. They literally have what it takes. Some people make up all of the ex excuses or some sometimes people use their, their good for bad, their strengths for ill, for, for evil. I don't see that. It's again, because you've learned from these past relationships, these past things. Now for me personally, I feel like some of you guys like to connect the dots to understand what's going on in my personal life. This is not just relationships. This is any aspect of your life, you know? So I'm seeing that for you too, is that you are in a space and the people who are around you are in a space that are actually strong and have what it takes. The stag card is about pride and leadership, but I see this as very positive because I feel like you've actually in the past might have attracted weak people or weak circumstances accidentally because you were you were in a space where you were healing, you were experiencing trauma. So that's what was around you. But now again, you're, I just, I keep gravitating towards these guys. It's like you're blossoming. There's something that's being seeded here. There's a, a, a gentle energy that's being created here and that is growing and it's coming from your intention and that's why it's a yes. That's why the answer is yes. And your goddess energy wants you to hear that and wants you to feel that. And wants you to keep that in mind, to keep that keep that open mind, because there is a partnership partnership here. Maybe you're working with with spirit. Maybe you're working with others. Maybe you're working with another person. Maybe you're connecting with your soulmate. The magician card for me has always been, and by soulmate, I mean like, you know, your life partner. You know, the person that a relationship that is strong, that is loving, that is, you know, you have trust there. Well, that's a big one trust and stability there that they are strong within themselves with or without you but they choose you and you choose them because you too are strong with or without them but you choose them because you're capable of calling the shots the the magician card has everything that you need within a relationship within your partnership and partnership i do see you creating an alliance and I see you having the key to access that, to pull it down, to set it into, and like it's almost like you've been setting intention for it, but there have been some obstacles around you or some circumstances around you that have really blocked it, that were outside of your control, but also they needed to happen so for you to learn and also generational curses too. So these three cards are the things that are coming towards you for the next 28 days. And that's what I set the intention for when I shuffled and pulled. And I'm seeing the lily, I'm seeing the key, and I'm seeing the tree. So again, this is roots and stability and that, that um, connection to home, where it is that you belong. That's the word too, is I belong here. You belong with me, I belong with you. And together, this is where we're meant to be. Home is where the heart is. And I am here and I am in love and I share this with you and I commit to you. And that opens the door. But again, this is something that can't be forced because of course I'm gravitating towards this again. But this is something very gentle, it's very soft, it's not forceful. If anything, it's about using your words to be clear, but 
and to set intentions in a way that is clear and allowing things to manifest all by themselves because there's a lot of magic around you. I don't see you holding on to the hurt and to the ache anymore. The, this two card too is the card of family. So for some of you guys, you are really thinking about fertility and children and, and moving into the next stage within your life. But if it's not family, I just am like so in love. I'm so gravitating towards these cards right now. But if it's not family, then again, it could be you know, your business, your brand, your your job, your project, your creative pursuits, your creativity, your expression. But I just, I also see partnership here and budding and babies and newness, new energy, this new seed. It's almost like you're called to do it. You know, some people, when they're mothering things, it can be really exhausting. And that happens to even the best mother out there. What is a good or bad mom, you know? But it happens. But I almost see you being like, when you're in this element, you're actually going to be the happiest that you've ever been because you're a natural nurturer and you naturally give. So even it, it almost seems sometimes like you just being there and you f um, filling and nurturing this thing, even though you're giving so much of your energy to it, you're getting so much back because you're able to give. Do you know what I mean? So that the universe says that, the, the universe sees that and says, yes, as far as advice, <laughs> my love, I, I just see you doing, I see you continuing to be you and continuing to be beautiful your spirit is beautiful like i really want you to know that like your spirit is pure your heart is pure you are beautiful inside and out and people see that and the things that have happened to you in the past and that i don't know why number four is so heavy but it is what it is the things that have happened to you in the past you know they they again that trauma it's not because you didn't deserve more because you've done something wrong. Again, like, wasn't it? Yeah, forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. It's because some things happened, you know, and that's just how life kind of deals itself to be. You might have a difficult astrology chart. You might have a, you might have a difficult natal chart, but we're just, you know, things are different now. Like you actually are moving into this next stage within your life and you're going to have different partners. You're gonna have different opportunities that are just as ready for, for you as you are for them. And you've been waiting for this, I know you have but you have so much beauty and light around you. So my advice to you is to continue to be all of who you are. But I do see a space where I said in the beginning where you make a list of the things that have happened in the past and what you would do differently, some red flags, some things that you didn't like, some things that you won't accept, the things that you will accept. And that by doing that, that's you working as the magician and calling in the next stage, in the next phase within your life because that's ultimately what your inner goddess has for you and what you're manifesting in your life is the key, you actually have the key um, to call the shots and to open the door. There's a lot of gentle energy here, but it's just ready. The answer is yes. I don't know who needs to hear that, but it's a resounding yes. All right. Well, that being said, that is what I have <laughs> for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do want to pull from the earth or the earth nature speak oracle because i've been this entire time while i've been sitting here i've been it keeps catching my eye with a little extra so let me go ahead and crank this down so you can see i'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these cards what is one last message that we need to hear before i say goodbye to my beautiful tribe for just for right now that way i can go oh my god sunshine shine forth garden time for nurturing birch heal the past life, death, rebirth, and harvest, and so. So there are a lot of things. We are really entering into a space of total joy, total pleasure. I don't know if you can see these. Okay, let me show you. I am seeing a lot of joy, a lot of good times. This is the past, you know, we're healing from the past by enjoying the present, you know, by enjoying the sunshine, by reaping the rewards, by stopping and smelling the roses, by spending time by o with the ocean. Aren't these all aspects that we talked about in every single one of these card pulls? We did. But by going to the, by following the advice of each of your cards, whatever it was that you gravitated towards, that's where you're going to receive the abundance, okay? And the past is the past. We're putting that, we're burying that. By, and not burying it in a way that we pretend like it didn't exist. We learned the lessons from it, life, death, and rebirth. And we're reborn new. We're entering to this new stage, this new phase of total abundance, total reaping the reward. The past is so different because the present, and we have the, the power to, con, to change the, um, the future, okay? So that's what it is that I'm seeing for you guys. Thank you so much. Make sure that you are subscribed to this um, YouTube channel. Tell your friends, share this video with your friends via text messages. Um, that's what I do with my friends when I see, when I receive a 
card pull that I love or a message that I love, I send it to my friends to help support other people's YouTube channels. So if this resonated with you and if this hit that chord with you, then I'm just so happy. And that was my intention. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you leave those comments down below so I can have something to read when I'm in my own little garden. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.